Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about good alt for each loop in Blade, this one. And I see quite a lot of people don't know some tricks what you can do inside of it. So I will show you how to check what is the number of item. I will show you how to stop the for each loop on some condition. And also I will show you how this block can be replaced with one line. And it won't be include. Let's go. So first what do we have here? If there is at least one product, then we show the table row for the product. Otherwise, we show no products found, and it looks like this. It is one of my components in Livewire Kit project, but you don't have to know anything about Livewire. It's just simple blade, just inside of Livewire. And now let's say we want to emphasize some line. So let's say the first line. There is a variable for that. If loop first and if class for example background info and let's refresh as you can see the first line is emphasized so inside of every for each blade directive in laravel there is a variable called loop with a lot of properties inside of it so loop first loop last loop odd loop even like this also, probably more practical is the number. So, iteration is iteration is second, then it's the second line. If iteration is fourth, then it's the fourth line. Or if you prefer to count from zero, there's index. So, index four will be row number five because it counts from zero. It's all written in the Blade documentation. So, let's take a look. There is a whole section, the loop variable. I will link that in the description of this video. So, all those examples, first, last, a few more properties like remaining, count, depth, but they are more rarely used. So generally, whenever you have for each, you have loop inside of it automatically. Also, you can stop the for each on some condition. So if, for example, product price is bigger than, let's say, 100, and if, and you can do at break, like this. We refresh our page and it stops when the price is 1000. Next, let's shorten that for each with if. First, instead of checking if there is a product, there is a separate command called for else. So instead of for each, we're changing that to for else, and then end for else, like this. And then this part becomes inside of for else, called empty. Cut, paste here, and then we don't need that if. We don't need that if. Let's reformat. And it looks like this. So it's the same if for each, just a bit shorter, a few lines. And if we refresh the page, of course we have products, but if we have any search something, there is no products found. That's live wire thing performing the search, but if there is no product, it's calling the empty blade. Next, let's shorten it down and include this and this as a separate blades. Temporarily, we will make it even shorter with one command. So instead of the row, we do include and I've prepared that already and views Livewire Bootstrap product. So one single product looks like this. And we include that as Livewire Bootstrap. PHP Storm has some autocomplete for that product. And with a parameter of product equals product from here. So this variable is passed into include and we don't need that. Actually, let's leave it and let's see if we have two lines. So let's remove that and we have two lines for each. And if we delete that, we have only one include. Okay, refresh, good. Now this can be replaced by another include, which is no products. I've prepared that already. So let's copy this line, paste here and no products. And we don't have any parameters there, just no products. And we remove this one. So again, search by non-existing thing, no products found, still working. And now, I told you it will be one line without include. So there is a separate command called each. Each blade file name iterating products with a variable name inside of that will be product. And another parameter what view to show if there are no products, so empty. And the view is this one, like this. Let's close the sidebar so it would be visible. So instead of for each or for else, we have each with these parameters. Let's refresh and we should have two lines 
as you can see that is done by each five records and that is done by our old code so we delete that for else and include we have each we refresh and we have the same result no products found if there's something existing then it shows only the barbie again that search is performed by livewire but you don't need to know about that what you need to know is there's one product and it's launching this product for that if you want to have more lessons on laravel or similar topics subscribe to the channel and you can support the channel financially by doing one of two things use our laravel quick admin panel generator or enroll in one of my courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com or subscribe to the membership of that courses for the whole year because i have a lot of courses coming the next one is on jetstream and a lot more to come in 2021 see you guys in other videos